Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about grouping. Specifically, grouping as it relates to data, how to use grouping to get a single result, how to use grouping to get multiple results, how to use grouping in combination with other query actions, like the math or string manipulations we've already covered. So, grouping as it relates to data. Grouping allows us to consolidate multiple rows of a result based on a common data value. That means if our original query produced five rows, but they're all for the same person, we can consolidate it down to one row. And that allows for the production of a result set that contains only the information that we care about. Well, let's see it in action. We're back in Workbench, and we've already got loaded up a query you've already seen. It's joining the name, product, and purchases tables. And in this case, we're doing it where name ID equals 1. That's the name for James Donovan. So that we can see all of the purchases that he's made. And he's made three. But what if we only wanted to produce one result set? Maybe we're looking at a result that's going to be fed to a program that's going to insert his name into an email. Well, we don't want to get three results back because he only has one name. Well, to resolve this, we're going to do group by. And we're going to group by, in this case, first name. When we run this, notice that we only get one record. And if all you need is a consolidated report and based on first name, you're fine. But what if we wanted to go a step further? What if we wanted to see what his most recent purchase date was, so that we can include that? Well, normally, you do that by ordering. And if you order by DOP, descending, you would think that would give you the most recent date. However, it doesn't. That's because the order by happens before the group, and the group rearranges everything. So if we want the most recent date of purchase, we're going to have to do that in the select. We'll get rid of the order by for now. Here, we can select the max DOP. And we'll go ahead and name it max DOP. And when we run this, we've now got a new row. It's showing us the most recent of the dates for James. Well, let's take it even one more step further. What if we wanted to use some math on these functions? What if instead of just some random amount in the group, we wanted to know the total amount of all of his purchases? Well, we can do that too. In the select, we just add some amount. Because the group by is in effect, it's, it knows what value set you're looking at, and so it will automatically sum them. And so we know the total is 18. He's bought 18 products, and his most recent purchase is on this date. You can see how this kind of stuff becomes more and more useful the more you add. We'll stop there for now, and continue on with the rest in the next video.